All righty, welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today it is Monday, May 15th. May 15th. I know that because my accountant's off of vacation today. Flex. So he should be doing my taxes. Your accountant is off of vacation? He Apparently he takes a long vacation after tax day. And that doesn't really do well for the people that got an extension who don't know any d- details about the extension. But it's probably so relaxing for him to just be like, fuck all these people. Yeah. I mean, like, it's a nightmare. They're the only people who probably deserve vacations is people who do paperwork. People that are like in an Excel spreadsheet or like filling out forms. Yeah. They deserve vacations. Right. Guys like you going to Iceland. Guys like me going to fucking Brazil, we do not deserve our vacation. I sent him my filings and he just, I said, let me know if you need anything else. He said, okay, we'll do. And it's been a month and he hasn't sent anything. It's like, well, I'm assuming I have to like pay money at some point. No, you're good. I mean, if you're, if it's in his hands right now, it's in your accountant's hands. But I don't think I can go to the IRS and be like, my accountant's not doing it. Well, why would you even go to them? They'll like- When they come to me. They're not going to audit you at your door though. Dude, I'm going to get audited. I know you're making a lot of money in stand up, but I don't think it's enough for an audit. It is when you pay zero dollars. I always think about this whenever you're like, dude, like you're fucking like, you probably make so much money. And then I think about what my life was like at your age versus what your life is like at your age. And uh, it's vastly different. <laughs> Should have been grinding when you were 13, bro. I was a pizza delivery man when I was your age. I, I, I had never spoken to an accountant in my life, even in passing. Yeah. Well, I haven't actually spoken to an accountant either, just email. Still, you're doing great, brother. No. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) So the trip to Iceland sucked or what? No, Iceland was great. Iceland was really fun. Um, From the text messages I got from you during the trip, I did not get that impression. Why? You were texting me nonstop and I wasn't replying because I was in Iceland. No, you were replying to everything that I said. Oh, because you, well. Let me go back to your, let me go back to your uh, text messages and let me see exactly what was said. Um, how is it? Pretty fun. The scenery's crazy. We fished all day, but we didn't catch dick. And well, then we didn't. And then I said something about uh how how was it? Or oh, you sent me some pictures and you said this trip has been way more stressful than intended. Losing my mind today. Oh, I said hope that. it picks up. That tomorrow. must have been on the bad day. We had a bad <laughs> we had a bad day. I told Owen about it. We had a we had a nasty day. What happened? That was a nasty day. It was a you had really a nasty one? really bad day. Um it was just like one of those days on vacation where just every single thing goes wrong. What kind of stuff was going wrong? We we slept in, we got a hotel the night before, and we were supposed to wake up early. I thought you guys were staying in the wilderness the whole time. That ended fast from my, that was me, my doing. You were just like, I'm the swinging dick, I got the money. I was I like, I'm not sleeping outside. I was like, it's fucking zero degrees outside. I was like, we'll get a hotel and we'll all sleep in like a tiny ass room, which we did. And uh, dude, it was that day we, we, we slept in like a, in a hotel. The hotel was not a hotel. We set a reservation for the hotel. We walked in, checked in. Lady brings us up to upstairs where the hotel is. We walk in. There's just a dude sitting on the couch watching TV. It was not a hotel. It was there's a home? Old ass dude just mounted on like a leather chair watching TV. It was a home. And then another dude uh, sitting in the kitchen eating pasta. <laughs> and they just bring us over to like a bedroom in there. And they're like, this is your guy's room. Nice room. Three beds. You booked it online, obviously. Yeah. And this what was, was it a listed town, as? It was listed as a hotel. This was in a town called, I think it was called Bargans, Bar- Bargans, something like that. Nice town. Super fun. Yeah. That that actually, that night we went to a, a bar and the bartender was like an asshole. A lot of the people there, they're very weird. Like you walk into a restaurant and they're all sitting in silence. Everyone. Silent. Not like a single conversation happening. Why? And they all turn and they stare at you as you walk in and we're like, what the fuck? But I don't know. It's very odd. But we went to this bar in that town because they were open till like midnight. And we just were like, hey, we'll get uh, three beers. And the guy was like, Phew. like shook his head and was like furious about it. And was like, all right, I'll bring you the beers. And I was like, okay. It was like, <laughs> okay, like, this is fucking weird. What was he, what, what, what did he expect? I don't know. Like he, I, maybe, maybe they like were intending on closing earlier and they probably knew that we were going to stay there all night. That you guys were going to get shit faced in there? Yeah. And then he left and then another bartender came and that guy was awesome. And he comes up to us like around like 1030 and he's like, uh, are any of you guys uh, vegetarian? And we were like, no. And he was like, 
And he's like, all right, I'll be right back. And he comes back with like these big ass bowls of like Italian wedding soup. Damn. It was awesome. What the hell? Yeah. That, that was sounds awesome. extremely hospitable. Yeah, that was great. That that was like that that made the night. What was their accent like? Uh like European. I, I don't really know how to do it. Um like lots of weird arms. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that. But a lot of them Spiritual. are from it's a lot of people that are from like Poland and oh. like Ireland. Huh. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. And uh So what was bad about the bad day? So then that night we got like hammered. Stayed up till like three in the hotel room and woke up the next day at like noon, which was not planned. We were supposed to wake up at like eight. And it's like raining out. We go get coffee. We're like, all right, we gotta we gotta go to the grocery store, get a bunch of shit. We do all that. We get more beer. Cause you gotta get beer. Anytime that you're near a liquor store, you have to get beer. Because <laughs> there because there's none. Just in general. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, in Iceland, because there's none. There are no liquor stores. There's like ten. It's a finite commodity. It's like when there was a gas shortage yeah. and every time you drove by a gas yeah. pump, you have to fill up. Exactly. Like there was there it's, and it's all run by the government. So they're open. Like a lot of them are open and only until like 6 p.m. So you got to get it in the morning. So you got to get it in the morning. You and you wake go up in the morning, the dude, any day of the week. And it's packed. The whole the whole country is getting alcohol that day. And is it light all night there? No, it, but it gets light. It like, gets dark at like 11, 1130. Okay. Which was kind of, I liked that. That is sweet. Yeah. Just it's just like knowing. more day. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so that, uh, the the process of getting out of this town took us a lot longer than intended because we were kind of just like being tired and, and like worn down and we're supposed to go do this hike and the hike is up to a water of waterfall. And I was kind of anti hike. I was like, I'm really hung over. I don't really want to hike. And then I'm looking at reviews on all trails of the hike and everyone's like, beautiful hike. Only thing is there's a log that you have to use to cross this river at the no top. No way. And they're like, the log is gone. No so way. So you have to go up to like in like waist to deep water to cross the river. So I was like, dude, it's freezing outside. I don't want to walk through waist deep water in my fucking pants and like take my shoes off and stuff. So we scratched the hike after like driving there. You and got there. We like got there, sat there, ate ate lunch, and then we scratched it. And we we're like, let's just go to this. So then we we're like, we're gonna go to this other town, like Arkans, and that town had a bar that was open till three a.m. And they so had you knew these, you were gonna whoop it up there. Yeah, and they had these like hot spring like ma- like baths. They were they were like man made hot springs with like a view, which means it was just like a hot tub, and and. uh <laughs> We're like, let's go to this town. Let's get a beer. Kind of like just have a relaxing day and do whatever. So we get to the town. It's like a 45 minute drive. The drive, I will say the drives, they were all, everywhere we would go, we'd be like, oh, it's a two hour drive, one hour drive. They fly by. Because you're seeing the most beautiful shit you've ever yeah, seen. Yeah. And there's also no traffic. Mm. So it's like an hour of, it's like literally like, it's going to be an hour of straight driving from here to there. It's not going to be like stoplights or anything. It's just like a straight shot everywhere two lane roads and it, is, yeah. it, is it pretty on both sides or were there like boring stretches is there like fucking no it's all it's shit? all awesome That's yeah fucking sick. the scenery is crazy and we get to our cans we're trying to find the bar we can't find the bar because the maps are all fucked up we find a bar we're like this bar looks fucking terrible we don't go we're like let's go we're, let's figure out something to do we're driving we like pull over turn around there's just like a <laughs> a wall graffitied with like the most racist shit I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> like the N word, like 10,000 times. God damn. And, like Bart and, like, Simpson went off. Yeah. And like drawings, like cartoons. What the fuck? Oh, shit. And that was like, that was like pretty unsettling. <laughs> it like, wasn't even really funny. <laughs> Are you sure moment. you weren't in Arkansas? Bro? <laughs> yeah, dude. Might have been. It was like, cause we were like, dude, like, I know there's like racist parts of America, like super racist parts, but like they still don't, they don't, they would cover that shit up. They would paint, like it was like a mural. Like they all agreed on it. Yeah. Like they were like, that's just there. <laughs> like, and dude, we were like in the center of the town. Like this was not like a hidden thing. Like this was just like for the whole town to see. God damn. Like the N word a million times. They don't say, they don't tell you that about Iceland. No. It's and then, the most hateful country for neo Nazis. Yeah. And then I was like thinking about it. I'm like, dude, there's literally only white people here. Uh, that, and we were like, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get out of this town. Let's go to the campsite and let's set up and let's just get hammered and go to bed. 
and we go how to how many camp. beers did you have like a 24 pack or something like that or what oh on us yeah 700 beers <laughs> Dude, i'm not joking when we would stop at every single liquor store and get like two more 24 packs you were loading up yeah and we finished most of them yeah we had to throw out a couple like ipas that my buddy bell got we were like no one wants that shit but uh what kind of beer what, what was there like go. main beer go go and they're damn good. good it's beer. just a light beer it's like a bud light but it was good Fuck and yeah. uh gluten-free too which I liked. Ah, oh, yeah. Didn't isn't uh a, didn't give me as bad of a stomach ache. Corona is gluten free, I think. Uh, it might be, yeah. And it's good for your tummy. Yeah, I think the Mexicans maybe they do it right for their yeah, tummies. Yeah, maybe. But They're... Gull, Gull was the shit. Gull uh, we gotta get a fucking sixer of Gull. Yeah, Gull was good. <laughs> Gull was good. And uh, I found that like right away, and I was like, yeah, this is gonna be my beer for the trip. But you see Gull, you flock to. But it. But dude, bro. they have Gull everywhere. They sell it everywhere. Mm. You'd be watching. You'd be driving by, and a bookstore would have a big ass Gull sign outside of it. And it'd be like, we sell gull and books. <laughs> it was like that. Like it, it, most of their money must be made off of gull. And <laughs> so like we're coming off of this like racist fucking city, whatever it was. Also, a lot of the cities are not nice. Like they're like, like that Borgans one or whatever it was called. Borgans, I forget what it was. That one was cool. That one was nice. That was like what you would uh, pick. That's what you picture in your head when you're like, oh, this is an Icelandic town. I'm picturing like um, like wooden houses that are like yeah. painted a bright color yeah, or some exactly. shit like and that. And like all in the mountains, like on the water. It was yeah, cool. Yeah. Arkans was like if you pulled over on the, at like a, on a factory in the middle of fucking upstate New York. Like it was like a shitty, shitty town. Run downtown. And racist. Really racist. Were there people walking around? People were like taking pictures in front of the murals. <laughs> like in no, Los Angeles they when they have the angel wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like the eye and the yeah. inward standing there. <laughs> no, no, there was it wasn't like that, but it was weird. So we're like, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go to this campsite. We get to the campsite. Legitimately the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my entire life. Like we're in the center. It's like it's so bare. Like everything's so bare, but then there's like these massive lakes and mountains and like arch cool architecture, like everything. And that sounds awesome. We pull over. We're like getting our shit ready. I'm, I'm going up to the bathroom and a dude comes out of the bathroom and I'm like, oh, is the bathroom open? He's like, oh, no, we're closed. He's like, I'm doing work on the place. So we're like, okay, campsite's off. Go up to like the base lodge. Base lodge is closed. So then we find this other place to go camping and it's in the center of a town. And what what'd you have to camp with? Just tents and uh, like fucking sleeping bags or what? We had everything. Have? We had, we rented a bunch of shit. Okay. And then we ended up driving another hour to this other town. That town sucked, but we stayed there and we just got obliterated. At a hotel room or at a, you, you we made went a to camp, a bar. You went to a camp. Or where'd you stay that night though? We, we went to the campsite. Campsite sucked. I was like, I'll get us a hotel room. The thing that's nice about a lot of the hotels there is that they have a uh, self-check-in. Oh. You just enter a code in. So it's like an Airbnb, essentially. Yeah. You just like get, would get a room. But it's expensive, dude. How much? It's like, like it, that was like 300 bucks. Really? Yeah. For the three of you? Yeah. And did they all have uh, MOU 100? Definitely not. Damn. But you took the bed. Yeah. No, we like all shared beds. What? Yeah, dude. Oh, man. It, it was like- You and two of your boys shared the beds in the hotel rooms? It was like a queen bed and we would sleep. What the fuck? <laughs> what else were we gonna do? I'm not gonna buy us all our own hotel room. People would sleep on the floor, I think, or two people. We in the did bed, that. On the we floor. did that the next night. <sighs> Three dudes in a bed is a little. It's just a little <laughs> bit. Not. I'm not even saying gay. I'm saying that's uncomfortable. Yeah, dude, it was uncomfortable. You guys definitely laid, well, I, I was laid like, your I was arms like, on each other. You guys sent me money, and one of my friends looked at me. He was like, "I literally have zero dollars." <laughs> and I'm like, "Then why are we on fucking vacation in the most expensive country in Europe?" <laughs> it's literally the most expensive country in Europe, dude. But you've got like it's pa it's past Switzerland by a lot. You got the bread though. I guess. It was still, I mean, every night was a fucking awesome. Like it was always super fun. Yeah. I mean, you could have 700 beers anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but it was still like it was That's fun. It was cool. Like the like the like the Black Sand Beach was insane. The, we went to the mm -hmm. hot springs. The hot springs were crazy. It, it's it's hot, dude. Dude's getting what? out of there literally like bright red. They're getting out of there like they're like, like, they're, like someone just spray painted them red. What did, you, what did you wear in there? I wore a bathing suit, no shirt. What? And I was running with the fat guys, dude. The fat guy move in the hot springs is you lay on your stomach. <laughs> and then you just like chill with like your head up by your arms and you're like, dude, this is so cool. What's the other alternative? Were, were other guys just sitting on their ass? 
Yeah, but it's not deep enough to the point that like, you know, when you go like, when you go swimming, once you're in, you just go, just keep it at the neck so you can see your body. Or they, it's not deep shoulder. enough for that. Oh, really? So you sit down and they're seeing every, they're seeing the rolls oh, in, in, in full action. And your boys are slim. Oh, yeah. Your boys are like, fully they have out like of the Jesus water. abs. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. Yeah. With their poor asses, bro. No I wonder know. they can't afford the fucking. I would start twisting that on them. They'd be like, you're a fat ass. And I'd be like, well, I make more money than both of you will ever make. Yeah, I'm eating <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. You said that? <laughs> no. Yes, I, <laughs> I would say shit like that just to piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they should have slit your fucking throat in our hands. <laughs> like, oh, it's the white supremacists. <laughs> Damn. That's you oh, boy, dude, they're coming after me. I'm going to come after them. I'm <laughs> fucking paying for the entire trip. Yeah. You're, you got your wallet's fat. It bro. actually wasn't me paying for the entire trip. My other buddy helped pay for almost everything. It was just one of them didn't pay for a single thing. Who, one Matt one or Bo? Bo. Bo didn't pay for anything? No. And Matt paid for a lot? Yeah, we would like split it. Because Matt's a hard worker. Bo, on the other hand. Well, Bo's a really hard worker. Bo just chooses to work at places where they pay him $2 an hour. <laughs> and he's like, dude, I don't know how I'm ever going to like make enough money. I'm like, get a fucking real job, dude. Stop working at like summer camps where they pay you $0. Get a real job. Work at bars too. <laughs> no, but it's like there's a difference between like being like, oh, dude, minimum wage is tough. It's like, no, dude, you're choosing to make s- less than 50% of minimum wage. Yeah, you're wage. panhandling. Yeah. You're Napoleon Dynamite at the chicken farm, bro. You're making fucking less than a dollar an yeah. hour. I don't want to put him on blast. <laughs> I feel like that was mean. I shouldn't be You put that. him on blast face to face and then you well, fucking double down to our audience face of millions. Just on your massive platform. <laughs> I'm going to sound like such a scumbag saying yeah you this. are that's a fucked we're up thing that. you should never we're say to your yeah, no no yeah. no yeah. no we're not it, no we're not if you want it was a j- but we're it's in a joking yes, way course, i'm not looking at him in like the eyes and being like i'm you'll never be me <laughs> <laughs> i'm saying it because he's calling me fat and what does he say back to, what does he say back to that <laughs> then they then they're like yeah you got to pay for everything for the rest of the trip <laughs> That was where they would twist it on me. Yeah. And then, so what do you say back to that? I'd say, I'm not doing that. And then I would do it. <laughs> oh, dude, that's such a fun. You were, you were literally having the time of your life on that trip. Yeah, it was fun. Dude, we went to a hostel one night. Yeah. And uh, what was the setup in the hostel? Everybody in one room or you guys got your own bunk bedroom? Everybody in one room and one of us slept on uh, the floor. Yikes. And who slept on the floor? Definitely not you. Matt. Oh, really? Yeah. With his affluent ass with yeah. his rich ass and that was uh that day was awesome but that night was rough that day we did you sleep outside once yeah the first night just one night yeah and it was too cold it wasn't even too cold it was more just like we were doing shit like we were like up and moving the whole day and then you'd get and then you'd like you you wouldn't we wouldn't really eat a lot at all the whole day and then it'd be like nine o'clock and we'd be rolling into the campsite and I'd be like dude i don't want to fucking like set up a tent right now that was my like first thing that would have sucked about going on vacation camping is setting up the tent setting all up the, the time tent every night. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. That's why it's not really a vacation if you're doing that. You're just making work for yourself. Yeah. So we stayed in a hostel and it was it was nice. It was a nice hostel. Um there must have been some sort of some sort of kids like Icelandic field trip happening. Because they, we went into the, the kitchen. Yodeling competition. Yeah, we, dude, the loudest people on the planet. Really? Like, dude, they're so fucking loud. Singing Bjork songs. It, it, dude, their language, and their language is so unattractive to the ear. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, it's just like sounds, dude. It's not even like, it's not even words. It's just sounds. <laughs> ba, ba. <laughs> they speak in taser. Dude, it's insane. The noises <laughs> that they make. And then, and then I know where they just, they, they laugh. They all, they, they all start laughing. They were playing a game, these kids. And that must've pissed you off. <laughs> it, 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 didn't, it didn't piss me off at first. It pissed me off. The and then they're coming out. Like we, we like, we like left the kitchen area when it's like the, the like the, uh, the common area. And we're like playing this game that we're playing the whole time. And they keep on coming out and like, and like pulling your hat up off your head and then like scurrying away. That's they were like, they were, they were fucking you? with us, dude. Yeah. They'd be like, you winning? And then they'd scurry away and they'd Pull all- Pull the hat off the American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, they, and then we went out to get more beer from the car and I came back in and they all had their jackets on and they were like tiptoeing out, sneaking away. <laughs> they were sneaking out. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know where the hell we, we were. like off how, of a highway. I don't know where they were How old going. were they? They were probably all like 15 to 18. 
I heard that uh, like in Iceland, you like mischievously, like no one locks their doors. So you can like literally just like sneak into people's houses yeah. and they'll be like, hey, get out of my house. Yeah. Like what the heck are you doing up yeah. there? Like you're like a stray cat or something yeah. like that. I heard that too, actually. Yeah, maybe just, from you. Um, maybe. But yeah, dude, they were, I mean, loud. Like the loudest, like this conversation would be like the room would be shaking. And that's just like their base level. All of them are just the kids. Just the kids. The kids on the field trip. You should have brought them beers. And dude, they, they would have. They, are they, you winning the game? No, they could not drink beer. They would have. It would have been a nightmare. They were like slamming coffee at midnight. Probably because it's light out. Yeah. Probably because they're in the song Meet Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> you ever hear that song? No. She only drinks coffee at midnight. Oh, damn. Good reference. <laughs> bro, a crazy reference, bro. I've been dropping fucking reference gems, bro. I've been really populating this fucking conversation with subtle references. I know. I've been paying attention. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. <laughs> Seagull and flock to it was yeah, under it. <laughs> Went over the head. I'm with you, bro. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm at it. I'm the color commentator of the story. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there, it was fun. It was a great time. What was the best and worst things you ate while you were there? Oh, dude. If, you know what I mean? I'm not a food guy. Well, I want to know the best and worst things you ate. That's interesting to me. I had trout, which was cool. Trout? Steamed trout? Trout. <laughs> trout was good. What, uh, how did they prepare it? Did they cook it up or was it like raw fish? It was like grilled. That sounds good. What else did we get? We got something really good one day. We got, uh, like, was it like clam chowder? We got like a chowder, clam chowder, and then we got uh, some sort of. Uh, well, like, they sound soup heavy. A lot of, a lot of soup, a lot Bread of fish. Bowls? Yeah. yeah, fish. Yeah. It was good. Do you ever watch Zach Efron's travel show? No. Is it the one where he like does acid? Oh, <laughs> I think he does like water. <laughs> he goes to like a water sommelier. It's oh, like, really? like the best water in the world. But uh, first episode, they go to like the best restaurant in Iceland. It still didn't look good. <laughs> yeah, the food wasn't like anything special. Looked like it was just like the regular food, but they served it on a square plate to act like it was fucking fancy. Yeah. Reykjavik was pretty cool. Yeah. Cool city. Where do you, you fly into Keflavik? Yeah, you fly into Kev. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, Kev is about 45 minutes away from Reykjavik. And those are the two biggest cities, right? Reykjavik's the biggest and Keflavik's the second biggest? Keflavik, is, I, if that's what they would call it, a city. I mean, that was like a, that was like an old person's community, like one of those towns in the suburbs. Really? Yeah. But Reykjavik is sick. Reykjavik's a real city. What kind of shit are they doing there? Racist graffiti? Nazi rallies? No, not 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 much there in Reykjavik. Did um, you see a black person the whole time you were there? No. How about like a um, tan person? <laughs> yeah, definitely a brown person. Yeah? Yeah. Indian bros? Maybe like one. Okay. That's dope. I'm just curious as to the The layout. general vibe there is not happy. They're not happy people in, in Iceland. Oh, there's. I think the suicide rate is crazy yeah, they're there. they're miserable people. I think like that's why they keep their own population low by yeah. just killing themselves. They're like, really not happy. Yeah. Like they're genuinely unhappy. Like we went, we checked into the hotel the last night and we were like, just like, you know, hey, how's it going? Uh, checking in. Ah, it's been better. <laughs> <laughs> like oh not what i was looking for yeah at like all. don't tell me not that. at all what i was looking for in america and then she's we like, lie and then she's like you know it's been raining for the last five months <laughs> <laughs> she's like it'll get better hopefully and then like a 10 minute pause is like one day it's like jesus i think it's i think they're the all the sunlight that they're getting like, I think it fucks with their glands. Well, I, I think, think that there's getting probably like this... a tiny gland in their brain that's not getting enough fucking darkness so they can't sleep. No, so but they, they do. Resist... It's only light out for like four hours a day in the winter. But, but, but I mean, I feel like that fucks with it the other way. I just feel like they're like yeah. milking their glands out yeah. the wrong way. Got these fucked up milked out glands. Yeah. It did rain the whole time. Really? Yeah. There was like one hour a day where it would be sunny and it was usually in the morning. And it's like that for five months. That's what they said. Damn. Why would people go there? I think in the spring and the summer, it's super nice out. It's beautiful. Yeah. I can't believe that Greenland is like way, way, way worse than that and oh, way, yeah. way, way bigger. But Greece, Greenland's all ice. Yeah, but still. Yeah. How, or how much ice was there in Iceland? None. Crazy thing when you find out. I mean, there's like there's like mountains with snow on them. Snow at the and top. And there's glaciers in the up like up north. Did you go to the glaciers? Did you go to like the Continental Divide or whatever? No, we couldn't go. I, I think it was too early. Efron went there, bro. Yeah, we we went too early in the year, which sucked because I can't imagine I'll go back anytime soon. But 
I think if I go back, I think if I go on vacation again, I'll go somewhere. I'd still want to go to Switzerland really bad, or I'll go somewhere in like Southeast Asia, somewhere cheap, somewhere where like the whole vacation costs like 40 bucks. Somewhere where you can bang a dude for $4. Yeah. A yeah. dude dressed as a woman. Yeah, exactly. That's the dream. But somewhere where you can kill a local and get away with it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, can I, can I, can I get in on one of these, bro? Sure. Let's just do it for content. Yeah. I'm or down. just be like, well, we'll talk, we'll tell stories of it. Yeah, exactly. We'll tell stories we'll of our journey. Off. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else happened. That was fun. What was the worst that you just say? The worst thing you ate? I feel like they probably have like a gray paste or something like that. That's just like a stupid, like sauce, like a fish sauce or some shit. Yeah. Or like I didn't, a haggis or like. A, I didn't eat anything bad noticeably there was they do have dried fish in like the in like beef jerky bags and they sell it everywhere and it looks so fucking gross that does sound let me let me show you a picture of what it looks like they gotta be fucking snacking on that shit like it's built on or something like it's just crackers but that sounds nasty as fuck let me see dry fish Iceland snack. Let's talk about game time. The exclusive ticket, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Bro, how are we going to talk about them when the Sixers just got out, dude? This is super messed up of you. I don't know. Looks like you'll have to go some see something else, like a concert, perhaps. Or oh a must no! See spring event. I'm going to the Mets Phillies coming up, and I got my tickets on Game Time. That's right, I did. Created by fans for fans. Game Best Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals. Tickets. Here's what I did. I said I want to get behind the Phillies dugout, and I looked at the ticket prices, and bam, you could just click on the section that you want yeah. right behind the Phillies dugout. Best prices. Uh, I mean, it's all lined up. You can see what the hot deals are. There's some deals where you're like, oh, I want to jump on that right now. Got the tickets, two clicks. As soon as I had the idea, the tickets were in my wallet and the same thing could happen to you. You can skip the hassle. You can enjoy the moment because it's that simple. Two taps, 10 seconds. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email and redeem code BOYDAD for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Terms apply. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Shut the fuck up. It kind of is nice packaging. What is it called? Blackfish tour? Yeah, it's disgusting, dude. That's what it looks Ew. like. Yeah, this is what it looks Let like. Let me see. Ew. And they have it in just like big ass like beef jerky bags. It's gross. Fuck that. Fish gets bad so fast. When it's good, it's so good. But when it's bad, it's so much worse than like any other. But they eat it like like it's everywhere. It's like it's more common than you would see like a like a bag of beef jerky. It's probably because the country's expensive and everybody's poor. No, they're not poor. They're not. No, I actually think that everyone. I think actually there's very low poverty rates there because everyone is within like the comfortable cost of living. So what's their excuse for being racist? <laughs> they got nothing else to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> they just have never seen i guess i mean just having never seen a black person gotta be fucking crazy yeah dude there the first night we were there we we like went we got in we like went there's like a bait all the campsites have like base camps where really like, there's it's like it's like you can sit down charge your phone drink there's a hot tub we went there we Take party a we party with belly. a bunch of icelandic dudes oh yeah so they had a they had a staff party and we went. It was terrible. Were you guys talking to them? Who, yeah. Who was the conversation leader? Like who bre breaches the conversation first with them? I don't remember. We went there late. We were already fucked up. Oh, so you're like, oh, so it was you. No. So what do you guys do? No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. You guys have a pool table? <laughs> they did have a pool table and we played on it. And uh, <laughs> this dude that's working there, he's like like one of like the handyman around there. And he comes in and he's talking to us and he's like, yeah, I live. I've lived in Iceland for like two years. I live Iceland two year, and I and he's like asking us all these questions about America. He's like, "Let me ask you." He's like, "Would you guys ever uh, would you would you date a, a bisexual girl?" <laughs> and I'm like, "I guess." I was like, "I've never really thought about it." Probably. And he's like, 
see me uh, my girlfriend she bisexual and uh <laughs> and now it's just i have more i have more to worry about she goes out she hangs out with her girlfriends and i don't know maybe they're maybe they're eating her pussy <laughs> <laughs> and he's like and he's like and i know i know deep down i'll never be able to satisfy her the way that her girlfriends satisfy her what and this was like 30 seconds after we met him what the fuck and then he's like do you guys like andrew tate <laughs> no I swear to god I swear to god <laughs> This is the first person I talked to in Iceland. And I was like, oh, I don't know who I don't know who Andrew Tate is. What I was the like, fuck? I think I've heard of him. And he was like, he has lots of good ideas. Lots of good ideas. I thought that Andrew Tate would be down with you having a bisexual girlfriend. Andrew Tate's against that. And why would this guy be like, be like I could never... He just kept talking about how he's never really eat, eat his girlfriend's pussy the way that girls can eat his, his her pussy. <laughs> But he's got the the fucking Trump card, dude. He's got a penis. That's what he said. But he's, he's got like, a. a but then he was penis. like, "Girls don't like penis." I was like, he's dude. dating a lesbian, bro. Yeah, he's dating a lesbian who's like being pressured by her mom to like continue the Icelandic bloodline. Yeah, so she has to fuck a dude. But they they're not even. He he was from uh, Poland as well, and his girlfriend wasn't. He just moved there like a year ago. Damn. He's got to. He's got to talk to Stephen Che. Take some notes on eating pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. some pussy eating notes. Did you Did you gas him up? You're like, no, no, no. You probably got a great cock. We were just laughing. I was just dying laughing. You probably fucked your girlfriend good as fuck. Yeah, and then we told him to come drink with us, and he he left. Yeah, I said I have to go see my girl. Make sure she's not eating pussy. <laughs> uh, my girl, I leave her alone. I leave her at home alone for too long. She eats all the pussy in Iceland. <laughs> She eats every <laughs> pussy in Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> She's the best at it. <laughs> she is so good at eating pussy. She'll never like me because I don't have pussy. I'm considering reassignment. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I can know her pussy eating. And then we'd laugh and he'd be like, no, but seriously, seriously, would you be okay with your girlfriend getting her pussy eaten by one of her friends? <laughs> like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Well, yeah, know me, know me a little bit first. I know. We're like, yeah, we just got here, man. Super pumped to be in Iceland. And we we're like, how we're like, do you like living here? And he was like, ah, it's uh, it's lonely. <laughs> He's like, he was basically like, you guys are the only people I'm going to see today. I need to get this off my chest. <laughs> yeah, I've that's why. About He's this. probably been thinking about that for a while. And he had to tell someone, anyone. Uh, finally, some more travelers yeah. that I can talk to. Yeah. Damn. I should have gone to Iceland. Yeah, you should. I should have gone. Now you've kind of spoiled it for me. No way. You told me everything there is to see. We didn't see half the country. What didn't you see? Everything. Everything. On east the west side? And north of Vic. You went to Vic? You went to Vic. Yeah. Vic is cool. Vic's where the, uh, the it's right it's right near where the plane wreck is and the Black Sand Beach. What was that plane wreck that you were sending pictures of or, or uh, posting pictures of? It's just a plane wreck. Damn, did everyone die or what? No, everyone lived, actually. Really? It was a U.S. Navy plane that crashed in the 1970s because they ran out of fuel. Doesn't seem like a crash. Seems like they fucking nailed that. Seems like they got exploded out of the air. There's like bullet holes in the side. I guess the Icelandic people are just going out there and just lighting that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> Your military's not all white? <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a military over there? I don't think so, Do They have 700 police officers in the whole country. We should take it. I know. <laughs> There's not much there to take, dude. What Perfect. are you going to take? Perfect. Everything is imported. Yeah. Like all their cattle get just some, shipped over from other countries. The gold. Do they make gold? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where do you get they the make gold the gull. from? The gull is natural. We can take the gull. You know what's funny about You know what's funny too, dude? This just this killed me. The All the water, like the heated water and like that you use in like showers and stuff, it's like naturally heated from like underground because of like the lava and shit, I guess. And it's all like sulfur that heats it. And you like first time so throw, it stinks? On, throw on the hot shower and you're like, yo, you're <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck is that smell? And the whole fucking place reeks of like diarrhea, dude. Uh, 
Ugh. It just smells like sulfur. I, dude, my my stomach hurt. I was like sore for days from how how hard I was laughing. Because <laughs> it was like, dude, it was, it was like two in the morning and we like got to our first hotel and my buddy turns the shower on to shower and it was like, he, we were like, dude, did you just like die the in the shower? fucking- Yeah, we were like, what the hell is that smell? The three of you are showering together. No. Like, okay, who oh, farted? <laughs> dude, it was, that was hilarious. It smells so bad. Unless you go to like, a, we the last night we stayed at like a nice hotel and that one had like fresh fresh water no no stinky water no poop no poo poo water <laughs> no poop water but even like the hot springs dude the hot springs smell like shit really yeah ew yeah that's fucking gross like straight shit that's not cool no that's actually gross. but you get used to it no well, that's disgusting man but it's not it's like clean water do you smell after showering you know? no which was weird because i expected to so where is it coming from? Is it just like coming from the pipes or does the water actually stink? I don't think they have like, like they have some weird system of heating the water there. I forget what it is, but that's why everyone, like the water gets super hot because it's like naturally heated and they're like, yo, like be careful when you're turning the shower on because it's going to get hot as fuck fast. Did you watch any TV while you were there? No. You didn't see any Dylan Mulvaney goal campaigns? No, no, <laughs> no. I don't even know if I like saw a TV when we were there. You said the guy was watching TV on the second floor. The guy sitting in the big chair. Oh yes, he, he was watching the, TV. Yeah, the bad hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was like the best hotel. They were awesome. Oh really? Vivian. Shout out to Vivian. Shout out Vivian. She was this old ass lady. Yeah. Let me show you me to your. Let me show you to your room. It seems like the kind of place where like Bane. Yeah. <laughs> let me show you. Like, room. This is my husband Carl. He was born in the like, darkness. <laughs> Get me another girl, woman. <laughs> like, are they, they're, they're probably like country people or what? I don't know, dude. We got the fuck out of there in the morning, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Tiptoed out. Yeah. You we didn't like, even I say did bye. Want, no. You didn't want like some fish sausage or yeah, something in the morning? Yeah, I knew it would have been a long conversation. Just like fish on toast? Yeah. That sounds gross. Damn. What an adventure, though. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. Are you going to take your boys on your Southeast Asian vacation? Yeah, definitely. Same guys? Yeah. Are you going to bring any? I thought you had four boys. I do. Where Where was the fourth? Number four was graduating. Oh. Yes. You bailed on four? Well, he couldn't come. And we, this was the only week we could, do, we could do it. Why? Because my buddy Bo goes to Alaska. What the fuck? Yeah. So Bo's a clear two. <laughs> no originally it was supposed to be me and Bo we're gonna go because Bo flies for free and then Matt's three yeah Matt's three <laughs> no, even though Matt has money like Matt's uh, three no no no, no and then Matt was like I will also go he's like I'm gonna be out of school by then and we're like oh cool and then we're like Nate what about you are you gonna come and he's like no I can't number four <laughs> sounds like Bo is the leader of the group no I'm the leader no, you're the you're the cash cow. No, <laughs> Bo knows to let you think you're the. Leader. Yeah, you're the bag. <laughs> yeah. playing you like there definitely were some fights. There were some big arguments. How did Bo get the bed if Matt paid for the hotel? <laughs> that it did. I, I was asking. Like the, I was leader, asking bro. the same Bo's question. The king, dude. I was asking the same question. I was furious about that, and I already had a bed. But I was like, "Why the fuck is Matt sleeping on the floor?" And Matt's like, "Dude, I really don't mind." Yeah, because Matt. Like, no, Matt, vibes. you stay out of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is between me and Bo now. <laughs> the bed boys are fighting, Matt. Yeah. Get back to the floor, bitch. <laughs> I'm fighting for your rights, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Don't you know? The day after that, it, we, I think we started the morning off with just like two hours of silence and, <laughs> and just rage. How did it break? I think we listened to Matt and Chains. Really? Yeah. I, Somebody smirk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's not even that funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're just waiting for them to talk about you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, we I didn't... actually know these guys. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> I was playing just the. I was. I just looked up Mac, Matt and Chain's funniest moments and put it on because the vibes were low. We needed a morale boost. <laughs> so you, you, you tapped to the bullpen. Yeah, we really needed a morale boost that day. That was the last day too. That was the last day. Any roughhousing? No, God no. You don't roughhouse in Iceland, bro. Land, that's the land of peace, unless you're black. <laughs> in which case, you know, there's a lot of roughhousing. We need, yeah, we need civil rights in Iceland fast. You should have fucking spoke for it. I wanted to, dude. It was like, it was like one of those things that like I thought would be funny, but like holy shit, that's crazy. Then like laugh about it, but we were all like, yo, that is fucking weird. That's like dark. Yeah, that was real. 
racism's dark. Yeah. I thought racism was going to be funny as fuck, yeah. but it's actually it's dark. Whole lighthearted. Yeah. Yeah. Real Kidding racism. People. Being faced with real racism. Yeah. You should have taken, did you take pictures? Yeah, I took a lot of pictures. Oh, of them. No. God, no. You should have. No. You should put Iceland on blast. I might have to. Isn't that what they say about like Ukraine, that the Ukraine is all Nazis? Oh, yeah, but they're like, Full on Nazis, like they're dude, all of their soldiers have like swastika patches on their uniforms. Okay, like the public art in Iceland is the yeah. N word. You said. I mean, sounds like Russia could do some fucking some of the Lord's work up in Iceland too. <laughs> yeah, there's not there's nothing to take, Mr. Iceland, Putin. Though. We have one last task before you pass. <laughs> yeah, blow up Iceland. <laughs> Get the racism out of Iceland. We'll give you all the gold you can drink. They really just. Fucking Stolish Naya and Gull. Gulls were good, dude. I could go for a gull right now. You think we could drizzly some gulls? Definitely not. I wonder if they sell them in America. Look it up. G U L L? Oh, yeah. What is it? A green can? No, nah, white. What the <laughs> fuck? It's a good go logo. Great yeah. logo. Is it? Looks like damn good beer, brother. Ooh. I love. Ooh, gold cans. <laughs> yeah. You know what's annoying, though? It's so- like a Miller Lite kind of. So I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not even. I don't have to talk about Iceland that much more. But I love talking about Iceland. The, I've never been. The uh, you go to the grocery store, and we're like, all right, let's get let's get some beers while we're here. Go over to the beer aisle. They have a bunch of beer. They have all the beers, every beer that you could want. And you start you start looking closer, and you're like, whoa, wait, this is 0.5 percent alcohol. And then you realize that all of them are non-alcoholic beers. Damn. You can only you can literally only buy alcohol. And every but everywhere sells beer. But they all sell 0.5% beer. It's probably because everyone's on Sui Watch up there. <laughs> I, dude, maybe they should free the fucking beers and people won't want to kill themselves as much. No, I don't think that's it. I think that they need to stay off the beers so people don't get any good ideas. Dude. <laughs> you there, don't get any bright there's people ideas. out there is like really depressed people out there. But I mean, it was it was a decent amount of tourists. Yeah, they make that American depression look fucking yeah. cut you and stepped on. Better help promo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dude, the, the thing is the a lot of the tourists though, there was a it's like it's a lot of tourists, but most of them are not American. Where are they a from? A lot of people Europe? travel from Europe to go to and go visit Iceland. So why do people think it's cheap though? Like you guys obviously got hoodwinked the into going. The flights are cheap. The flights are cheap because they're short because it's close yeah. to everywhere. Yeah, and mm-hmm. the actual being there is expensive as fuck. Damn. Yeah. I mean, if it's in Europe, they've been settling everything in Europe for fucking, you know, thousands of years. And if it's relatively unsettled, that means that Europeans got there and they were like, Egh. yeah, no, we yeah. don't want this shit. This is gross. Yeah. I mean, it was it was really fun. It was cool. Damn, bro. So who's there? Who, what's your what's your fourth boy's name? Nate. Nate. Damn. Okay. Uh, so is Nate? So Nate's in for uh, lady boys in Thailand? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, we haven't. I don't know when we're actually if we're actually ever going to do that. Yeah, you will. But tell them. Tell everybody to stack some cash. Start putting it in the money market right now. And fucking. Well, the, they're all graduating, up. so they'll all get jobs. They'll all have income. Yeah, when your boys start first getting money, it is a pretty sweet yeah. time of life. Everybody starts spending cash. You go out to the bar. You don't give a fuck. Yeah. You're not poor anymore. Yeah. It was fun. You haven't been poor for a while, though. No. You've been clearing checks. You're going to suck when you're rich, to be honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Because you're like, what are you going to spend the money on? Probably stupid shit. You're probably just going to have like I'll model travel. train I want to travel more. Maybe you want to travel more. That going there did? You got the wanderlust now? You got the itch? Yeah. Fuck yes, dude. I mean, I think it was also more just the drinking. It felt very guilt free because we would move, we would work, we would like exercise all day. We'd like hike, move around. You didn't feel like a gross, fat piece of shit. No, and then you just go put down fucking 15 gulls, eat some fucking dried fish chips. Yeah. Not fish and chips, it's just fish just chips. Fish chips. It's fucking gross, but maybe it's sweet. No, I don't think so. Dude, I'm close to booking a trip to Africa. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm about to pull the trigger. Just How much does I- that cost? Dude, luckily, no, I'm saving, I think I'm saving $40,000 on flights by having Delta, by having these, you know how like- Are you platinum? Yeah. So you get like four free upgrades and it's like, I'm going from like a 2,000 ticket to a $24,000 ticket. For free? Yeah. It's like, I'm saving like- Wait, the ticket there's $2,000? 
for, uh, to for just like an economy seat. Yeah, yeah. And I'm Jesus. getting bumped up to uh, better seats than that. <coughs> just using these upgrades. It's been the most worth it that having the, this. So extra you're going to sit shittest. first class on like an Emirates Air type flight? I think on Delta. Damn. I'm fucking loyal to Delta, dude. I'm in like the Delta subreddit, like <laughs> thumbs and up pictures of <laughs> baggage handlers. Like looking good, man. <laughs> All positive. Dude, uh, I, I, I'm getting an Amex and I'm going to be able to sit in the lounge now. Are but- you? Dude, uh, apparently the Iceland airport has one of the nicest lounges of all airports. You'll in the never world. know. Are you? Would you ever go back to Iceland? Yeah, definitely. You would? Yeah, I would go back when it's nice out. Mm. I'd like to. I would. I would want to go back in like June or May, or not not May, June or July, probably June. This year? Oh no! Oh, did I just plug? Yeah. Uh, oh wait, it's just right yeah. there. Just pop that back in. Sass, let's talk take a second to Shady talk. Rays. Okay, let's talk about Shady Rays. Take on the sun with gear built to last. Our friends at Shady Rays have you covered for the warm weather ahead with premium polarized shades at an affordable price. Did you wear shades in Iceland? I did, yes, and I wore Shady Rays. You did? Yes. That's good news. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses company that offers a world-class product that's just as good as any expensive pair we've worn. Durable frames and ex- are extremely and extremely clear optics for all of your outdoor adventures. And that's not all. Shady Rays offers the most protection in all of eyewear. Every pair of sunglasses is backed by a lost and broken replacement. By lost and broken replacements. And it doesn't stop at quality. Shady Rays is the most insane protection program in in all of eyewear, to be honest with you guys. Each pair of sunglasses is backed by their lost and broken program. So that means if you lose or break a pair, even on day one or year two, they will send you a brand new pair. Go to ShadyRays.com. Use code SUN. And they will give you 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses. What a deal. That's a smoking hot deal. Shadyrays.com. Use code sun. <laughs> Be back in this bitch. Hell yeah. Bro, I missed you on uh, the most dangerous game show this past week. Yeah, dude. I talked to Francis about it. <laughs> Francis is, uh, I mean, it was a little, he was being a little dramatic about it. He like explained to me because he was like, dude, it was terrible, all this shit. And then he explained it to me. I'm like, that's how, I was like, you just explained every single thing that happened last year. It was mentally trying for that's the, what he did for the say. cast. But was it not for our cast? Uh, I think it, this was a little bit weather, worse. Weather played a huge factor. Yeah. It was, it was cold. It was cold. The way he described the weather, I was crying, laughing. It was so cold. <laughs> so cold. Yeah. And he said that the, I guess I, I shouldn't give anything away, but it's just I, cold. I landed and Tyler was like, buy me a hat, buy me a winter hat. Oh, like, really? I had no idea it was going to be this cold. And so I bought a round of hats for the boys, a round of winter hats for the oh, boys. Forever. Was there a lot of tears? <laughs> a lot of tears on the trip? A lot of waterworks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's the worst. That, I think, three, I was I think him, at least three people cried. Yeah. He told me about crying and I, and that actually infuriates me. When people start crying like that, because people were crying on our trip, and it's like, dude, pull it together. It's why, like, why, why the fuck are you crying right now? <laughs> dude, yo, really? If you're the, if if I was getting to the point where I was gonna cry, I'd be like, hey guys, I'm done. I'm going back to my home. It's not like they, we're not on we're not on fucking like military school right now. <laughs> I you think that's get how into a point where you're crying. There were there were people that work for Barstool that were like restricting bathroom access for them yeah 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 Bra- <laughs> were like, francis said that, that people were treating <laughs> people were treating it like you were on like naked and afraid yeah. and someone like yeah. asks for like a, a twix bar or something yeah. like that francis but, said that he tried to go to the bathroom and someone was like sorry man no and francis <laughs> is like are you fucking insane he's like i'm going to the bathroom he, yeah they they like lassoed him when he tried to go to the bathroom yeah. they hog tied him <laughs> yeah <laughs> Set him to the bears. i don't think so ellis <laughs> it was on a ranch though i mean it was beautiful there's just like elk roaming yeah. really there's just incredible scenery that's awesome it sounded he, he told me i mean i was like how was the trip and i mean you know francis from the sea explained to me from the second that he got to the airport to go to Denver to the second that me and him met in DC to, to go to this show. Every single detail. Yeah. And then I brushed my teeth and then <laughs> it was an up and down motion, which I find a little bit more, but you need an angle if you really want to get between the incisors. <laughs> he definitely, uh, he, he's very well spoken, but yeah, 
<laughs> he gets it. He, he gets the most out of it. I, I mean, I know everything that happened now. Yeah, it was fun. It was a, a lot of fun. I don't know if he liked like uh, we were eating like camp food the entire week. He didn't like that. And he was like, dude, it sucked. Like we just had to have like chicken fingers and stuff. And I was like, that sounds fucking awesome, dude. It really wasn't that bad. It yeah. wasn't that bad at all. But the first day he was like, this food is going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Teriyaki meatballs on day one. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. That's what we had last year. It was just camp food. It was camp food. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, camp, but I mean, he, he did say it was a lot of meatballs. He's a well, no, it's one day of meatballs. Yeah. He's a well oiled machine though. Yeah. So he needs, he needs to be put in high end yeah. fuel in there. He needs like a sirloin and greens. Yeah. And like not not even he won't like a regular Kombucha. salad won't do. No, no, no. Like a salad out of a communal bowl that everybody's eating yeah. out of. No, you need to have like hand picked arugula. Yeah. It needs to be picked just for him. <laughs> it's fucking sweet though. It was um extremely fun though. Good week. Yeah, great week. Tyler was out there. How the long next... is that gonna be till that comes out? August. August. Yeah, Damn. Bro, they're gonna they're taking their time with this. Well, shit. makes sense. Yeah. There is gonna be a, a slog. It, it sounds sick, good. It sounds yeah. it sounds great. He the way he described it, he, he and he kept on being like the product is gonna be insane. I it personally is. liked all the challenges way better. Yeah, he explained me the challenges and they sound awesome. Yeah. The people who work on it are like the dudes who make like survivor, survivor yeah. <laughs> Even like new challenge guys, like these guys who just have stories of going to Asia and going yeah. to like Muslim villages to like build challenges out of like local leaves that they found and yeah. they turn into boats and shit like that. Yeah. It's just like the most detailed. It's fucking sick. That's awesome. It was fire. That's going to be sick. We, uh, me and Francis did this show. It, it yeah. What'd uh, you, it was for, it was at like the casino. You guys yeah, went to the casino. How was the that? Hollywood casino. And that's it. That, that room's a barn, isn't it? Stage in the back, kind of walk through crowd. There's like tables in front of you, right? Yeah. I mean, what is it? What does it fit? 20,000 people in there. I think so. And we had a we had a whopping 70. You did? Yeah. You did 70? I mean, dude, there's no one there. Yeah, it's a, everyone the only people there they were like, "Yeah, we drove 4 hours for this." Damn. No one, I mean, dude, Ch Charlestown, West Virginia, the population must be a 1,000 people. Yeah, probably. It was like when we got off the highway, we passed like three houses in 20 minutes. You were tasked with selling out the town. Selling <laughs> more than the town. <laughs> yeah, the state. You need to go like far and wide yeah but i mean the show was fun like the crowd was good it, it the room was so fucking big and every time you would talk it would echo it that like sucks so it was like bad. it would just remind you how many tickets you didn't sell when your voice <laughs> is just smacking the back wall and then exploding through the air what what is it what's your and francis's like uh way of um like how do you guys address that between each other are you both like this sucks or is like one of you making fun of it or you're like are you like this isn't that bad because of xyz or no we were like this is gonna be terrible <laughs> but it was like it, it, i mean it's just not a market for us to sell in but you still tried to do it anyway because i think we were we were, we were like this is gonna be good for, like this is a good look for a bar stool and for pen yeah do you think it was I don't know if anyone at Barstool or Penn knows that we did that show. I don't think they did. <laughs> I don't think that they had any idea. Yeah. I was with Dave Friday night. and I, Or I think it like came up and he was like confused about it or something. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, because he didn't know. Oh, well. I think Dave would have a better chance selling out MSG before selling out that room. <laughs> that argument was crazy last week. <laughs> Just getting updates in the mouth. Yeah. Oh, boys. <laughs> I think you were brave. I think you're yeah, brave as yeah. fuck. I really don't think I was. Bruh, you didn't Maybe know. I just don't, I wasn't here when Dave would like scream at people and stuff, but like, you're not scared. People were like, dude, you're fucked. Like, I was like walking back and Smitty is like, good luck, man. <laughs> nice knowing. Good luck. But you're not scared of Dave. No, I was nervous as fuck. But you weren't scared. No, I was. You didn't back Extremely down. Extremely scared. But you didn't back down. But I wasn't going to change my opinion. Yeah, that's what I think most people would do. Most people, th that would be scared. Yeah, no, I wasn't going to do that. Even, like, everybody in the room was against you, pretty much. Yeah. I, I just don't think it was, it, it was like a, I mean, I, I still do think it's a very 50-50 chance with if he sell it, if he would sell it out or not. But I don't think, well, he like. he changed it. He said he would just invite three people who have already sold it out. Yeah, exactly. Which I said, that's not, and the roast was not in the question either. Well, why don't you fucking respect Dave? Don't you see the fucking groundwork that he's built? 
Yeah, see, that's what I didn't understand. People were a lot of that. Like, the, clearly, this is a guy who doesn't respect his boss and doesn't want this job. It was like, dude, that <laughs> there's a difference between that and me saying something that I don't think he can. Like, that's not being like, hey, you can't sell at MSG, doesn't mean it's not. That's not like that is like not like a. You also randomly threw me under the bus in that conversation. You're no, like, I didn't. Rohn told me to ask for two hundred thousand dollars because you did. I did. I never told you a dollar amount. You told me the exact dollar amount. <laughs> there was like cents at the end. You were like this point, <laughs> point ninety nine, <laughs> like a like a, yeah. at a gas station. Yeah. Um. Maybe I did then. Maybe I did. I don't remember to be honest. But I was going to kind of just try and bank on you not remembering that much. You said I said I told you exactly two hundred. No, you told me over. You were like two thirty. Well, then you got to start. You got to start negotiating from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that I was. I went in asking for a lot less than that. And now Dave is trying to say I asked for like fucking. He was like, well, it was definitely in the twos. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't in the twos. The way that you were like, I remember that day. Yeah, <laughs> I remember the exact day. Yeah. It meant so much to me. I know it meant a lot to you, though. Also, it's like I, it's could be worse. I mean, if that's the one thing he has against me, me asking for a raise two years ago. Yeah, exactly. Could and, be worse. And now you're going head to head with him. Now you're in the fucking dojo with them fucking <laughs> sparring. Two sparring partners sharpening their sword. Iron sharpens iron. The two best arguers in the company. Definitely not. We should have a debate show. I know we should. Like Crossfire. Like, do we have that beer debate or whatever? What is it called? Oh, uh, Barguments. Barguments. No, yeah, I guess so. I guess we've tried multiple debate shows. Yeah. And they never seem to work. Sp sponsors pay money for them, though. Yeah. Big money. Sponsors fucking love that shit, bro. They love a good debate. They fucking go crazy for it. Dude, the rap party of this uh, show. Yeah, he told me about that too. It was at the- uh he said it was like 45 minutes long. The rap party? Yeah. He left hours early. Yeah. Oh, he, like, he said he had to leave too. to go back to Denver. Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody else hotel, stayed. Yeah. Oh, but really? it was at the hotel where The Shining is based yeah, off yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. And Dumb and Dumber. And Dumb and Dumber was filmed there. That's so cool. It was it was, so have you ever read uh, The Shining? Or have you seen I've it? I've seen the movie. Have you? Yeah, multiple times. Really? Yeah. It's a pretty sweet movie. Yeah, it's a classic. I heard it in the book, though, that uh, it's like a Stephen King book, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it? Mm -hmm. I think so. Have you read it? No, but I saw the movie. Yeah, I've never read it either. It makes me want to read it, though. It was just a hotel that uh, Spider was telling us the backstory on the way back. Um, he was like, it's a hotel, and someone was just like this dude named... JJ, I think. Was that the, the the guy's name that built? He like built. He, they built a hotel because their son was sick or some shit. Like mm -hmm. someone had tuberculosis, and they're like uh, Stanley. Oh uh, yeah, 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 something. It was the Stanley Hotel. Yeah, the yeah. Stanley Hotel. Mm -hmm. they, their son was just super sick, so they just built him a massive hotel. And I'm pretty sure that the Vanderbilts did the same thing with like the Vanderbilt Mansion. Like someone was sick, someone had tuberculosis. Hey, why? I don't understand this. The Good Mountain Air, what used to be like the best thing. For oh it, yeah, if you had tuberculosis. Yeah. That like you just build someone a house and it cures whatever they have. That's like you just insane. gotta get a house. Like the house is the remedy to all yeah. your fucking problems, dude. Maybe that's what you need too, dude. As soon as I got to Iceland, I, I got unsick. Really? Like I was so sick the day we got there, like achy. That crazy. good mountain air. And then I slept outside yeah. and I woke up the next day good as new. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. You might have asbestos. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Or you might have like black mold or something. I know. Shit like that. I, I did. I actually did think about that, and I got worried. Have you I was thought like, about why, that? I was like, why am I one? I was sick for three weeks, and then one day getting out of my apartment, I'm like brand new. There was carbon monoxide guys in my building this morning, Ooh. and they were the same guys that like a couple years ago when we moved in. They like checked it, and they were all like, a little bit is good, <laughs> a little bit is fine. <laughs> we don't worry about a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Do nothing. <laughs> it's like what bro is that's it carbon hilarious. monoxide like, so and funny. it was like the same guys and as they're walking through the hallway they're fucking little deet, deet. like it's like going off it's like a little bit it doesn't matter that's nuts Damn. you taste it it makes your food better yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're seizing your drink that's crazy <laughs> It was fucking nuts. And these same guys, I completely forgot about it. I was like laying on my back on my floor of my apartment the other day. And I like looked up at the ceiling behind like a beam. And I, there was like some kind of like black spots or something. I don't oh. know if I black. Oh, man. Lucky the ceilings are so high that it would take hours for the true. This shit to get down. <laughs> Bro, we should do. You want to do. Um, 
Head a, a boy, a boy dad from my apartment. Sure, we should. They told us that we should do that. You yeah, do it next week. Sure, you can do it at my apartment too. I don't think so, bro. Mm. I don't hey. think so. Do you do you have seating? Considering my apartment's like five minutes away, and yours is what about two hours? Two hours, buck thirty. It's on a, a good day, buck thirty. It's a twenty three twenty three minute bike ride, bro. We ride bikes out there. Brooklyn is just. I'd love to bike there. Brooklyn's yeah, we all get city Brooklyn. bikes. Brooklyn's a process. If we can like all all zoom in from my apartment and you guys can <laughs> zoom in from yours. <laughs> you definitely don't have internet. I hit, bro. I got the fastest internet internet package at Spectrum. <laughs> yeah, I got like a I got like the startup level internet. Oh, like a small business. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're like you could de- thirty four devices could be streaming fucking <laughs> Lord of the Rings here, and you'll be good. It you said that f- I could download GTA in thirty minutes. Damn. Yeah. What the fuck? Does not. None of that is true. That's the worst thing about say. video games. It's just normal Wi-Fi. Downloading that shit is terrible. It's so fucking annoying. It's just so boring. Especially now because every video game has like a 70 gigabyte update every week. And you hop on to play with your boys and you're like, oh Can shit. you not just buy discs anymore? No. You buy a disc and then like you go on and they go, okay, time to download. Yeah, it's like, crazy. I'm dead serious. It's, it's insane. Really? It's like, it's just like going and buying the disc is saving you the process of pressing buy. <laughs> They're like, well, no, now, now instead of having to press buy, you already have it, so it'll just automatically download. The disc is just empty. Yeah, the disc is just a link to the, the download. You know, literally, that's what it is. There's <laughs> nothing on the disc. And let, yeah, unless maybe, maybe unless like for certain games, but I know for Call of Duty, I think you're right. No, I think you're right. I remember my on Christmas, my buddy got the discs. He got like the it was like Black Ops Two came out like this was like years ago. You asked for it from your and parents. He got the discs and he put them in and it was and he was like, dude, I got a fucking fifteen hour download. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I think I, my dad got me a DVD for my last birthday. Really? <laughs> like what the hell? DVD is not bad. Well, what it's am pointless. I? Pointless. Yeah, it's pointless. You know what really got fucked is uh is uh DVD players. They got because now just everything can play a DVD. You put a DVD into a PlayStation, it'll play the DVD. Yeah. That is significantly easier. Yeah. And they also sell for like $10 now. Yeah. A DVD player. You can get oh, them at like a 7 Eleven. Home phones. Home phones got fucked. When did you guys stop using home phones? Like, when did your like family get rid of yours? I still have mine. It's just spam and my grandparents, though. Yeah. Do you? Mm-hmm. We might still have. No, we definitely don't. Well, we might. We had ours up until like two years ago. I know. What that. was your home phone number? <laughs> <laughs> I trying to think if I remember. Oh no, I know it. What's the last four digits? I'm not gonna tell you. First three of your social. <laughs> Just let people Genuinely start to guess. If you don't, not your social. No, I know my last four. What are they? Don't worry about it. Why? <laughs> what am I gonna do? Put it backwards. It? Put it back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, jumble them up. Yeah, encrypt it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, when I was signing my lease, I had to pull up my phone to figure out what my social was, and the dude was like, "You should really know what your social security number is." Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, right. you're about to get fucking fucked. Is what you're gonna get. I'm about to fuck you. You should have <laughs> fucked him. I told you about how he was. You, he was like, did I tell you guys about that? Did I talked about that on this when he was like, do you want to get past at the comedy cellar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. He was like, not even if they owe me a favor. It's like, dude, what? Especially if they. Owe, if I, I, that's worse. I don't know what the fucking <laughs> favor is. That's terrible. I don't know what you could have possibly done that this comedy seller now owes you a favor. Yeah. <laughs> Should have asked. He like swept the story about Louis C.K. under the rug. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know, Louis C.K. face fucked me, right? <laughs> Everyone thinks he just jizzed in plants. No, no. <laughs> no he <laughs> face fucked <laughs> realtors in New York. Who's fucking my face for apartment <laughs> fees. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Louis C.K. was fucking a dude's face so he wouldn't have to pay apartment fees. Yeah. It's Non-consensual. It's implying that the, the realtor wanted to get his face fucked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm saying, brother. Totally. Louis C.K. is a pretty. I'm on kidding, this bro. show, dude. Take that shit somewhere else. Take that shit to the Pat Bev. <laughs> <laughs> Here we respect the greats. Here we respect all the fucking legends. How is uh, the move-in going? Are you completely moved in or are you still like on a half? I'm moved in, but uh, it's not moved. I'm not like done. T- you got your 50 inch? It's on the ground? 50 inch is coming in tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, I, I so yesterday I'm like, I want to get a TV now. I'm like, I want one right now. 
when I when I like when I like get the idea to get something, I'm like, I want this today, and I never can get it, and then I get angry that I can't get it. But I'm like, why why would I be able to just get a TV today? And I was like, I was looking on Best Buy, and they have the I wanted the like Insignia Fire TV because that's what I have now, my small one. Why? Because I just know how to use it, and it's like a, it has everything that I want. It has all the apps. You know how to use a TV? Yeah. Isn't it all, all I'm TVs familiar you, with the interface? Aren't they all used the exact same way? <laughs> no, no. You look at You're, the screen as a projection from image. You don't, you don't have a smart TV, do you? I have a genius TV. I have four of them. <laughs> what do you have? Like a, you have the Roku. This thing comes with the Roku installed, brother. No, these my TVs talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> AI. Um, and I'm 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 uh I'm on the Best Buy website, and they're like. That I was looking at a TV and it was like, you can come pick it up today in an hour. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll do that. And I'm like about to hit checkout and it was a 65 inch TV. And I'm like, I wonder how big a 65 inch TV is. And then I looked it up and I'm like, I am so fucking happy that I didn't show up to Best Buy by myself <laughs> <It's five feet. laughs> to, fucking, to fucking carry that thing out of there. That's a, they're impossible know. to pick I don't up. Know I what I would have done, to. dude. You need a team. <laughs> You need to go up there. Just waiting for like a Toyota Corolla to pick me up in an Uber. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, they, I, we got to try and squeeze this thing in. They'd have to have both doors <laughs> open. <laughs> There's no world where they can even close one door. I was so happy I looked it up, dude. The driver would have to sit straight up with the fucking doors open on either side. I don't even think it would fit in my apartment, dude. 65 inches is so fucking big. I thought the couch was a problem. Yeah. <laughs> they saw the TV, the TV in doctor to come in. <laughs> a TV doctor. You roll it up. So I went with the Fitty. <laughs> I think Fitty is a good size. They sh Amazon should be able to s single day drone drop you a television. Right? They should have something. I think that's the future of the city. Just what size drones. TV do you have? You definitely have like a fucking 85 inch. Nah, I think it's 70. Like, you got like 60, a 65 or 70. You got like a theater setup. You probably got a projector. You don't even have a TV. I really don't even like projectors because the pixelization goes down so much. You know, it goes down, and it's also not even that clear unless the lights are off. That's what I mean. Like I don't, I don't like that. Anybody who has a projectors, you know, they're all trying too much. Trying Do you know to a lot of people with projectors? I know a handful. Projecting. Name off your top five projector buddies. <laughs> Christos. Christos. See, bro, you got one projector buddy, and you're talking about projectors like you know projectors. No, I know other projector. I definitely know other projector buddies. Pat's got a projector. Pat Bev in his movie room. I was gonna say in a movie theater. Room. <laughs> really? He's in a movie theater. Theater season. Is he gonna get signed by the Bulls again? I Everyone's hope so. Been talking about it. I fucking hope so, dude. You think he will? Where I do you hope, hope he goes? I was selfishly, telling him. I hope he goes to Boston, man. I was telling him selfishly. I want him to go to Philly. Sixers need a dog. Philly's gonna need they some do. Help. Yeah, I mean, we don't know what help. happened last night, but not a lot of dog in that fight. Fuck you, dude. You're supposed to be a Sixers fan. I watched the whole stream. It was very entertaining. The stream was? Yeah. I had the I had the game and the stream up next to each other. Yeah, it's fun it's to watch the stream. Good. It's so shitty to watch your team lose, though. Dude, Smitty walking out at like right at the end of the stream <laughs> and yelling was one of the funniest things. Fire Dog Rivers! Now! Or no, yesterday! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he even know you guys were still live? Oh, hell yeah. Smitty is off camera, a very soft spoken kind of guy. Turns it the fuck up for the, it's the Hulk. You weren't as upset about that one as you were about the Eagles or the Phillies. Uh, I mean, I had. I think that's honest. Everybody's got. No, I think the, right. the Sixers are my second, are my two. It goes Eagles, Sixers, Phillies, but I was going to win $40,000 if the Phillies won, and I was going to win like probably like seven or 8000 if yeah. the if the Sixers won. I kept on trying to get a screenshot of it because it was like you sitting in between Max and Smitty and Max was having like a psychotic breakdown and Smitty <laughs> was like raging and you were just like grinning in between them. I wasn't grinning. Oh, I was just, grinning. I was you sucking my a, teeth. You had a smile on your face. It was just like, you fucking believe said, this That's bullshit. the guy who bet on the Celtics tonight. <laughs> that's the guy who put everything on the Celtics. I would never do that, brother. <laughs> that's not me. That's a different guy. Bro. I don't, that's not up my. Except the dude didn't even do it. Don't why don't why why would you besmirch the Kujin's name, bro? I know, huh? Luke, can we get a quote card of uh, Sass's power rankings of his buddies? <laughs> no, yes, no one's gonna care about that. Uh, I think I can think of three people that'll care <laughs> a lot. <about> it. <laughs> They'll never see that shit. I think they pay attention to anything I do. 
They definitely do. They're like, we want to make sure you're making enough money for the next vacation to take us home. (laughs) We're cutting that part for sure. No, we're not. In a conflict, the biggest scumbag of all time. Here's something we can. It was obviously a joke, though, right? Like I'm joking when I said that. Yeah, you're. Hey, I want to take a second to talk to you guys about bare bottom clothing. Bare Bottom is back, and Bare Bottom was just with us for the entire week of the most dangerous game show. Really? Yes. Did dude. you get more? Uh, the contestants all did. Because I need more. They had like bags and like these fucking. Or I just that it's so wearable. It's like not a crazy design. Some of these other companies that ha- are in the similar space just try and jump out the window. These are minimalist designs. Yeah, Bare Bottom's listening. I need I need more joggers because I lost one of my pairs of joggers and I need more. I was literally wearing mine yesterday, but those are the ones from the last batch, not even the ones. They're just so wearable. We love Bare Bottoms over here. Our Bare Bottom clothing over here at Son of a Boy Dad. Uh, they got the stretch shorts. They got the joggers, but they're built for adventure with innovative features like the stretch fabric. They wick moisture, antimicrobial tech, tech. Everything is good about Bare Bottom. Their shorts and swimsuits come in 5.5 and 7 inch inseam with tons of colors and designs so you can customize the style that's best for you. And the best part, each item that you purchase, Bare Bottom donates a meal to a child in need. What other Dang. clothing company is doing that? Get free shipping on your first purchase at barebottomclothing.com slash sun. We just had to cut some stuff because Roan decided to say some nasty, nasty things. How about me? Not even about one person individually. <laughs> Cut this too. Cut this too. Don't Cut even. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I went on a jet ski the other day, bro. Yeah. I, went on, I went on a jet ski in the Hudson. No, really? On Saturday. Dude, that's like, that's worse than that Iceland water by a lot. Oh, for sure. And it was like splashing up. It was violent as fuck. I didn't even know they did that. Yeah. You think I can fish in the Hudson? I think I might go get a lime wet. <laughs> there's, bro, there's whales and dolphins in the Hudson. I've been Jones into wet a line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ever since Iceland, dude, it's like you go there, you don't catch shit. I'm like, I think I could just go to, what about Central Park? The thing is, I don't want to fly fish because fly fishing, you're, you're occupying space when you're fly fishing. Yeah, you got to pitch that bitch. You got to have fucking 30 yards behind you clear. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> you go to Coney Island. Yeah, I could do that. I'm not going out to Jersey. Yeah, Come you won't on. even Don't go to Brooklyn, silly. bro. Don't be silly now. <laughs> this dude won't Stay even go to fucking Dumbo. <laughs> Dumbo go to Central Park. Me and Tucker can get a line in. Get a new show together. Tight. <laughs> That's what you say when you get a fish. <laughs> what do you say? Tight. <laughs> tight line, bro. How would your you line, know? You didn't catch any fucking tight. fish out there. I was there. practicing a lot. Yeah, you practice for what you would say when you took onto a log at the bottom of the lake. What do you say? Tight. And then you're like, oh, never mind. It got loose. It was a log. Devastating. Just soul crushing. Those were the nights where the gulls would really be flowing. <laughs> what the fuck did we do? <laughs> we were walking up to customs in Iceland. Those fishing rods. Yeah. A little, a little early in the season, huh? We were like, no, nah, come on, man. We, we Googled it. It says that this is the perfect time. <laughs> we Googled it. We Googled it. And what you did know they what, say? You know what's insane about Iceland? This is enraging. You show up. You ever got on a long flight? Like you really like a, like a six hour, five hour plus flight, and you get to the airport. And you're like, I gotta get a water or something at the store. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Go. It's it's six in the morning there. I'm like, I gotta get a, I gotta get a sugar free Red Bull. I gotta get a snack. Mm. You can't buy anything there at the airport. They're like, no, this is only for the people that are departing. They make you show them your boarding pass, and they're like, no, sorry, man, you can't get anything. It's like this is just for people leaving. Why? Because there's like it's like a duty free thing, like the tax is low or something. I don't know. What the fuck? You can't bring food into their country. No, you can't. You can't. Like you get in, you land in Iceland. You're in, but you still have to go through like customs and stuff, and they won't let you buy anything until you get out of customs and you get to baggage claim. And then there's like a grocery store in the airport that only sells alcohol. Damn. So you had to wait ten more minutes before you could eat. <laughs> customs, bro. Should took like an hour. It did. Yeah. Damn. They got like two dudes working it. And there's like Damn. a thousand people trying to get in. Did they harass you? No, but there was a there was a there was a little bit of a, a scuffle in the in the customs line. These two old ass American ladies walk in 
and there's a long line and they just like they're doing like the whole like oh is this the line i don't know and then they just go to the front of the line and the ladies behind me other american ladies furious and they go they they just cut the line blatantly and the lady behind me she goes up to the first the other lady in front of me and she goes i don't know if you know this but there's a line and she goes civilized people like me wait in the line we don't cut the line and was your wait. skin fucking I was like, leaping off oh, your body yeah <laughs> it was just mortifying to watch but I also i was kind of like fuck yeah fuck those people <laughs> yeah i wanted to get in the mix and what did they say nothing they were like oh <laughs> and did they get to the back of the line hell no we're old but they weren't even that old they were they were at the same age as the other people behind me and they're just like we're not civilized it all it does feel good to cut the whole line off too though I dude, I hate when people do that. I hate when people when you're merging onto an exit, when you're merging into a highway and people go all the way to the front and just work the their way exit. in. Yeah. But at the same time, like you save you could save like 20 minutes doing that and other people are doing it. Yeah. It's either you're fucking a predator or you're prey. I follow the rules of the road, man. I I'll uh but if I am in that situation and I have waited, I am not letting anyone in. I'm hooked to the bunk bumper in front of me. No, that's what we tried to do. And that shit happened. And they uh, break through. Because then it's like, then it gets to the point where you're like, well, what am I going to do? Their, their car is in front of mine. Don't let them, never let them get in front of you. Make them hit you. Yeah. Um, I am done respecting people at the airport that are in wheelchairs. Every single oh, one yes. of them. Well, because a lot of them are just fat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah the every fat people are just going around on wheelchairs like they have a disability. Yeah, it's been ruined for the actual disabled people by yeah. the people crying wolf. Like someone I I like uh shouldered up and wouldn't let a wheelchair person pass me at the airport. <laughs> like as like they were trying to be like you go to the front of the line and then you drop your bags off in front of everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like as everybody's unloading their bags, you go to the front. I just like I just shouldered Great up body. and wouldn't wouldn't look at them yeah i bodied the person That's the what you, yeah I, i'm i've gone full i'm just disrespectful at the airport because ev- they walk into the the airport willy-nilly yeah like they walk in like there's nothing they walk wrong in like five minutes before their flight because they know they're about to get a fucking go-kart to their wheelchair their please yeah and they just groan and moan on the way there yeah can we stop at the mcdonald's yeah bro you're I'm hungry anybody anybody that like doesn't love walking is just in a wheelchair i've been getting fucked on planes dude fucked yeah mile oh. high club no like dude two babies back to back damn next to me damn. and then when do when you sit down next to a baby you are their parent now for the rest for the rest of the flight because the actual parent just tunes out you're like i they're like i got i got the baby on the plane it's your turn it's your turn to take care of it and the baby's just like smacking you gra- like like i was watching a movie dude this kid just X's out of the movie on, on my TV, dead serious. And the mom's like, I'm so sorry. I have no idea why he did that. And I'm just like, yeah. And then so, I get, and then I get a fucking, what movie was it? Uh, I think casino, which oh, I still yeah. haven't finished. Damn. Bro. Um, and then I got sat next to a really, really large lady, mm. middle seat, wheelchair lady, mm, wheelchair lady. Yikes. And she sat in the middle. Bang. And That's it's sh- like, She's taken up half of my seed. Well, it could be glandular. Maybe it was glandular. Maybe it's not her fault. Maybe she's doing all she can to slim down. Did you think about that? What did she eat during the flight? What didn't she eat would be an easier question. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, bro. We can't fat shame our big sisters. She was was gross though or what? (laughs) No, she was old. You know, there's a certain age where it's acceptable to get fat and like to not be annoying about it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> look, dude, I'm speaking from the truth, I'm speaking from the heart here. Yeah, if we're, we're this deep into the episode, you know what I mean? We yeah, can really let it fly. Ten people are going to hear this. She's, yeah. And there's a good too. chance that four of them are big. <laughs> yeah, they just can't get their up to phone, change their them. phones like a, two feet away from them. They need their like stick. They need their <laughs> clamp stick. Yeah. Have you, wa- have you watched The Whale? No. It's so good. Is that the meme of the guy smoking? The movie? Yeah. Is it? What's the meme? It's like Photoshop, though. It's yeah, not yeah, actually yeah. in the movie. But he like, is. Uh, he's like staring at the camera. He's like, <laughs> and he's holding a blunt in his hand, <laughs> like passing. <it. laughs> like the first scene of the movie that they catch him. They catch him like watching gay, like gay porn, but he's like too big to get up to like shut the fucking laptop oh, really? or whatever. Like someone burst in the door. 
and like he like fumbles his phone he like makes him get his phone for oh him. shit it's actually about like a fat dude and it's called the whale yes that's mean it's the meanest movie that e- that's like way ever more mean than anything i just said it's a hundred percent more mean. i was basically just quoting what you said in that rap battle those horrible things that you said about that man he, the guy said he was gonna <laughs> kill me and i'm mean for saying that he's fat he said he was going to kill me and fuck my family <laughs> and i was, I'm, I'm I was mean- reciting lyrics is all i was doing <laughs> Um, but, but like Hollywood celebrating that they just made a movie about it, like a a movie about people being mean to a fat guy. Like there's like a writer, like there's like multiple characters in the movie who are mean to him about being fat. What is so that, that means that there's like a writer being like, like the nastiest shit that you could come up with. Have you guys seen that clip of the dude who's like, he's like on, a, he's on like a talk show or something and, and the. The kids like listing off names. He's like, yeah, people would make people made fun of me for being fat. And he's listing off names, and the, and then like the host lists off like ten more names. You guys know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh-uh. fuck, I gotta, I want to find this because it is so fucking funny. Is there any way to find your liked what you liked on Instagram? Yeah. Settings. Or go to your activity. Activity, likes. Oh, here we go. Ew, dude. Gross. More. Inform your intestine. Yeah, that was. I think I was just dying. Sound like a fucking tar pit bubbling inside of me. <laughs> I'm not gonna look at this because I didn't like it. God damn it, sass. Find that shit, bro. When are we doing another live show, bro? That was fun. Uh, we got an offer to do it at New York Comedy Festival. Oh yeah, that's they, not until like October, November. Yeah, someone did. Did did I saw that someone like uh, tagged us in Instagram, but or tagged me in Instagram, but I didn't get to see what it was. I saw it after the fact, so I didn't know whatever the fuck it was. I think it was like New York Comedy Festival. Yeah, it must have been. Plug some dates, bro. How'd your audition go? Oh, uh, it went well. I think. Never really know though. What was it for? JFL. Just for laughs, of course. It went. It went good. It was uh the the thing with those is like, it's all industry people, like all like agents and managers, and then it's all like people that got the tickets for free, which was pretty much. Oh wait, here it is. <laughs> He's being that serious. <laughs> Porky hog, fat ass, double up. Uh, that, those sort of things. Fat, gross, disgusting piece of shit. <laughs> Stuff like that. Porky hog, fat ass, double wide. Those sorts of things. Doesn't have no friends. <laughs> no woman will ever love him. Them, them sort of things. Was that his dad? No, I don't think so. It was like the reporter. I would hope it wasn't his dad. <laughs> Maybe his dad was re- refreshing the, the, the atrocities that that boy had heard. Probably. All right. Plug some dates, Sass. Uh, I'm going to be in Cleveland, Ohio this weekend, but I think that's sold out. And then I think I'm going to be in, or then I'm going to be in Detroit Friday. So I'm going to be in Cleveland Thursday, Detroit Friday, Saturday. And then I'm going to be in Ontario, California. No, I have to move to Coma. Ontario, California. The improv. The rest of them are on little Sasquatch website.com. Little yes, Sasquatch website. Find the rest. Got a lot show. coming up. Philly's coming up in August. Oh, yeah. Five shows in Philly. God damn. Philly's Ooh. hot rock, fellas. Yeah. Philly will be fun. Oh, yeah. Ontario, I can't wait. California, not Canada. <laughs> yes. Not to be confused with Ontario, Canada. It'll be Ontario, California. Damn. There's a London and that in Ontario. Room is massive. And I think we have sold nine tickets <laughs> and there are about 1800 tickets to be sold <laughs> oh take your time <laughs> <laughs> plenty of tickets left but they're going fast <laughs> they're, going, they're quick. going quick they're going hot okay no that's not for like two months i think um 
All right. Well, thank you guys for listening and we'll see you guys next week.